Well, I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by the giver of this year's colloquium lecture, Edward uh, Frankel. Edward, welcome. My pleasure. It's great for you to be back in Boston, isn't it? Definitely. I spent many years at Harvard and uh, my family lives here. My parents actually came to my lecture. And just to be part of this very uh, long and rich history, um, you know, the AMS colloquium lectures have been given since um, 1896 for uh, 115 years. And um, it's a great honor and privilege to be part of this history. So give us a little bit of a flavor, if you will, of the colloquium lecture. Well, I talked about my recent work, and it's all about uh, connecting different areas of mathematics, uh, number theory, uh, representation theory, geometry, and more recently, quantum physics. You know, the um, Langlands program is, uh, was created about 40 years ago by a mathematician, Robert Langlands, who works in Princeton. And uh, over these last 40 years, it has really touched uh, many different parts of mathematics, and now more recently quantum physics. And the beauty of it is that some of the questions which seem completely intractable are translated using these ideas into questions which could be solved by much more powerful methods. And so we still hope, but we're still at the beginning of understanding the, um, really the, uh, the deep underlying reasons and, um, for these for this, for this ideas, for these structures. And um, in the meantime, all of this has propagated into other areas of math and physics. And so we'd like to build this big picture and then use that to really come to a better understanding of this field. So what are some of the big questions you're looking to tackle using this methodology? Well, for instance, uh, one of the things which have fascinated a lot of people is the fact that the symmetry group, which appears in this Langlands program, uh, gets replaced by this dual group. So there's this duality going on, which is called the Langlands duality. And we observe this duality in, in many different contexts, in mathematics, and also in, uh, we observe it now as duality of some models of quantum field theory. So the question is why? Why there is this duality? Why the same duality pops up in all of these different places? And so I hope that some of my recent work uh, with Langlands and Go will help answer those questions. And you're giving another couple of lectures this week, aren't you? Continuing the same theme? I'm continuing the theme, so there are three lectures all together, and I have notes available also online. The, uh, the meeting has made my notes available, so hopefully you know, people who want to get deeper into this, they'll have a chance to, to, to read those notes in detail. So Edward, is this a growing field? It's very growing and it's very dynamic, and it's, it, like I said, the beauty, what I find most fascinating and beautiful about it is how it connects many different disciplines. So you say, you say the word language program, people from different disciplines will know what I'm talking about from their, their point of view. 